Hello friends, it's Danica from the Saskatoon Public Library. I love libraries and I really miss them right now, but I have a craft for you today from my home. I'm really pleased to be living in Saskatoon. Did you know it's also called Treaty 6 Territory? It's a place where people have gathered and told and listened to stories for tens of thousands of years. And I'm happy that we're able to be together today, even if it's in this strange new way. So today I have for you a holiday craft. And well, it's the holiday weekend. So what you'll need are some different colors of construction paper and a pair of scissors and a Sharpie marker or markers or crayons or pencil crayons or pencil and a glue stick. I have my background right there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cut a variety of shapes. And I'll just put down my marker and my glue. And so the first shape that you're going to need to cut out is an oval. And I want you to make your oval almost as big as your white paper. So white or light colored paper is a good one to do here. And so if you're making an oval out of a whole sheet of paper, you basically just have to cut off the just have to cut off the corners. Just sort of in a round way. And so that is my oval. And I'm not going to stick this one on. This one I'm going to save and stick on closer to the end. But now I'll just set that aside. And then I want you to make a smaller oval. And not all my pieces are perfect. Some of them I've used for other projects. But I want you to make another oval. And this one should be quite a bit smaller. And we're just going to cut that oval. And then we're going to stick that one right in the center. So I've got my glue stick. Guess what I'm making? Hmm. Think about it. Now, I'm going to make a circle with yellow. And I'm also going to make a circle about the same size with cake. Are you getting an idea what I'm making? So I don't usually draw my shapes. I just cut them out. But if you like to draw the shapes first and then cut them out, just remember we have a big white oval, we have a purple oval, and now I have a pink circle and a yellow circle. So we're gonna stick those on. Do you know what I'm making yet? Do you have an idea? So I'm going to put my yellow circle here. And I'm going to put my pink circle on this end. Okay, now, next. I need another couple of things out of the pink. And this time I'm gonna fold it over because I wanna make two that are the same. And it's not quite an oval. I'm not exactly sure what this shape is called, but it's kind of eye-shaped. So if you can make something that's eye-shaped, and then we're going to stick this on like this. Hmm. You might be getting a better idea of where I'm going with this now. Stick these on. That's sticking up a little bit, but that's okay. Get 
Now, I need a diamond shape. And I'm going to make the diamond shape out of orange. And I put that right here. And now I'm going to make a little triangle out of black. circles out of black too. One. Two. Three. Perfect. They're not exactly the same size. So I'll stick these in on. Oops. You don't see the floor where I'm dropping stuff, which means you're also not seeing the floor where all my pieces of paper are. So you have to make sure that you clean up after you do this craft. I bet you know what I have here now. This is the tricky part now. Oh, and I forgot to tell you one of the things that's helpful for this craft. I also have a little brad, and it's like a little butterfly that you put something together and then you can open and close it. And you don't need that, but it helps if you want this craft to have a moving part. Okay, so. Now, I think you have an idea of what I've done. But remember that big oval that I made at the beginning? So what we're going to do with that now is we're going to zigzag cut it. Zigzag, zigzag, zig. And then with my little brad, my little clip, I'm just going to stick it through the two corners. So I've got my my big oval and I've cracked it open and I might need to put a little hole in the corner here. Get my scissors. You never know. Sometimes things are a little bit more complicated than when you start out and you think, well that's gonna be easy. And then you realize that there's something that you have to kind of come up with another idea closer to the end. Okay. Now I have So now I can put this on here like an egg and then I can open it up to show you the bunny or the chick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hole right in here so that I can attach it. So I can attach it right to my picture. Remember when I said a marker would be handy? Well, the marker is just fun if we want to put in some details. So we can make our bunny's mouth, give him some big teeth, make a, a little detail in the ears. We can give our chicken, our little chick, some eyelashes, some spots, 
All right. So I'm going to show you this and how it all works. I'll just take it off. And you can make this into a card. And I kind of made the ears a little bit too big. But it sort of gives away the surprise a little bit. So we can kind of hide that. And you can give this as a, as a holiday card, or you can hang it up on the fridge. And if you open it up now, you can see, look at what hatched. It's a bunny. But if we turn it over, we have a chick. So that's my little holiday craft for you. I hope that you don't eat too much chocolate, but I hope you get a little bit. And I hope that you have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching.